The Quran is not a book of science, but a book of science. Yet it contains some undeniable facts related to science. It wasn't until recently that pain receptors in the skin were discovered. Without these pain receptors, a person would not be able to feel pain. Allah mentioned this in the Quran over 1400 years ago. Allah said, indeed those who disbelieve in our verses, we will drive them into a fire. Every time their skins are roasted through, we will replace them with other skins so they may taste the punishment. Indeed, Allah is ever exalted in might and wise. The verse clearly points out that pain is dependent upon the skin and Allah will replace the skin so that those who disbelieve will feel the pain over and over again. Our skin acts as a protective barrier between our internal body systems and the outside world. Its ability to perceive touch sensations gives our brains a wealth of information about the environment around us, such as temperature, pain and pressure. Without our sense of touch, it would be very hard to get around in this world. We wouldn't feel our feet hitting the ground when we walk, we wouldn't sense when something sharp cuts us, and we wouldn't feel the warm sun on our skin. It is truly amazing how much information we receive about the world through the sense of touch. And although we still don't know all the ins and outs of how the skin perceives touch, what we do know is interesting. Let's take a closer look. Understanding how the skin can function in these many ways starts with understanding the structure of three layers of skin, the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous tissue. The very top layer is the epidermis and is the layer of the skin you can see. The epidermis is waterproof and serves as a protective wrap for underlying skin and the rest of the body. It contains melanin which protects against the sun's harmful rays and also gives skin its color. When you are in the sun, the melanin builds up to increase its protective properties, which also causes the skin to darken. The epidermis also contains very sensitive cells called touch receptors that give the brain a variety of information about the environment the body is in. The second layer of the skin is the dermis. The dermis contains hair follicles, sweat glands, subcutaneous oil glands, blood vessels, nerve endings and a variety of touch receptors. The bottom layer is the subcutaneous tissue which is composed of fat and connective tissue. The layer of fat acts as an insulator and helps regulate body temperature. It acts as a cushion to protect underlying tissue from damage when you bump into things. The connective tissue keeps the skin attached to the muscles and tendons under underneath. Receptors in our skin. Our skin and deeper tissue contains millions of sensory systems. Without them, you wouldn't be able to sense and respond to your environment. They register what happens on your body surface and when they send signals to your spinal cord and brain. Light touch and deep pressure. Other receptors are more complex. The Meissner corpuscles, for example, are enclosed in the capsule of connective tissues. They react to light touch and are located in the skin of your palms, sole, lips, eyelids, external genitals and nipples. It is because of these Meissner corpuscles that these areas of your body are particularly sensitive. Most of your touch receptors sit close to your skin surface. Some of them, however, are located further down. Receptors such as the Pacinian corpuscles sense pressure and vibration change deep in your skin. Pain and temperature. Your skin receptors don't only respond to touch, they also register pain as well as warmth and cold. Your pain receptors are the most numerous. Every square centimeter of your skin contains around 200 pain receptors. 15 receptors for pressure, 6 for cold and 1 for warmth. In total there are over 3 million pain receptors throughout the body, found in skin, muscle, bones, blood vessels and some organs. Now let's take a look at the different types of burns. First degree burns affect only the outer skin layer. The skin area appears dry, red and mildly swollen. First degree burns are painful and sensitive to touch, usually feel better in one to two days and often heal in about a week. Second degree burns affect the skin's outer and lower layers. The skin is painful, swollen, red and has blisters. The skin also has a weepy, watery surface. And then there's the third degree burns. People who suffer from third degree burns also refer to as full thickness burns. This often burns and destroys the entire thickness of the skin. One of the symptoms for the third degree burn is a lack of pain because nerve endings have been destroyed so there is no pain because the pain receptors have been obliterated along with the rest of the dermis. Blood vessels, sweat glands, sebaceous glands and hair follicles are all destroyed in skin that suffers a full thickness burn. Now contemplate over this. Allah says he will drive the disbelievers into a fire. Every time the skins are roasted through, just like in a third degree burn, the skin becomes painless. So he will replace their skin so that they may taste the punishment over and over again. Please don't forget to like us and share us on the Digital Member Facebook and Twitter. Please also subscribe to the Digital Member YouTube channel in the links below.